All right, good morning. Let's get into it. It's time for a two minute tirade on poker. So, we've all been there. Busting out of a tournament, making the walk of shame. You walk over to another table, your buddy looks up and says, what happened? And you say, blah, 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 bad beat, blah, 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 blah. And you finish off with, but at least I got my money in good. At least I got my money in good. Why do we say such a thing? Why do we use that expression? We say, at least I got my money in good to make ourselves feel better and to splain. There's always lots of splaining in poker. Splain to anybody who will listen that we're a good player and we've got skill, and ergo, we got our money in good. We were way ahead, and it took bad luck to get us out of this tournament. Well, I'm here to tell you that the expression, I got my money in good, is a dumb expression. It's a meaningless expression. It doesn't mean anything. Let me explain. Here's the example. You're on the button. You've got 10 big blinds, and you're eager to get your chips in, and you understand that the big, your big blind guy is a mountain of chips. He's a guy who doesn't like to fold. You've got zero fold equity here. It's folded to you and you look down at pocket kings. Noise. You know you're getting called. All in, baby. All you can eat. It folds to the big blind, big stack, and he, of course, snap calls. And he turns up pocket aces. Ask yourself, did you get your money in good? No. You got your money in terrible. You got your money in as about as badly as you can possibly get your money in and, and hold them. Pre-flop, you're a four to one underdog. You are 80% to lose. So then what does that expression, I got my money in good mean here? It means nothing. You got your money in bad, but think about it. Are you really folding pocket kings in this situation? For that matter, are you really folding any pocket pair in this situation? I don't think so. So I think the expression, I got my money in good here, doesn't really make sense or apply. And I think that's true across the board. For example, same exact situation. You look down at 10-3 offsuit. And one of the synapses in your brain doesn't work. And you say, all in, baby, all you can eat. 10-3 offsuit is a terrible, terrible hand. It's in the bottom 5% of hands. You shouldn't be shoving here because you know you're getting called. So yeah, it folds over to the big blind, and of course he calls, he snap calls, but he didn't even look, and he turns up 10 deuce off suit. Go, 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 go. Two comes on the flop, the turn in the river brick out, and you're out of the tournament. Do you walk over to your buddy and say, hey, at least I got my money in good. Well, it is true, you got your money in good. You got your money in as a big favorite. That's like a 65, 35 or something like that. That's a terrible play. So you're making yourself feel better and you did lousy. So once again, this expression, at least I got my money in good, terrible expression. It, it's meaningless, it's pointless. Ban that expression. Don't focus on results. Don't focus on things you can't control. Focus on making the best decision you can. Because if you're ripping 10 big blinds into a mountain of chips with 10 three off suit, you got more problems than getting your money in good. You need to think about what kind of range you want to be shoving with and you understand that your opponent is calling with most cards so you're looking at a pretty big range you want to um, you know hopefully ship some cards that are better than two randoms because that's basically what he's calling you with anyway that's it for now two minute tirade turned into four minutes but there it is peace